Hi, I'm Warwick from Harder and Steenbeck. Um, we've been making a series of videos for you called Need to Know Basics. And although they were designed to answer a lot of your questions, they've raised a few more in the comments. So what we decided to do was take a few of those questions and address them in this video. So here we go. What is the best air pressure for my airbrush? Yeah, there, there isn't one. There isn't one. Um, it depends what you're trying to do. So if you're just trying to do sort of, you know, most of air, most of what the airbrush is used for, then you're probably going to be using an air pressure that's uh, somewhere around about 1.8 bar, 25 psi, something like that. Um, most airbrush brands will work really well around there. Some need a little bit more. If you want your airbrush to paint faster, or you're trying to work with a thicker paint that for whatever reason you can't thin. Um, you might want to go higher on the pressure. So it's like a gearbox, right? The more pressure you put in, the more power, the more energy you put into the airbrush, the faster you're going to paint. Also, if you want to slow your delivery down and you want to paint really slow, so you're doing something that you've really got to be super, super careful about, you can drop your pressure down. So, you know, the range to drop to on that is probably to something like, uh, you know, 1.2 bar, maybe 17 PSI. Most airbrushes remain reliable and their delivery at those kind of pressures, but they're slower. They're slower, they're more controllable. And then when you go right down to extreme pressure lows, um, and, and not many airbrushes can function at these pressures, you're talking about the fives and sixes of PSIs. Um, the Infinity works really well on that. Um, the Iwata Microns also do it really well, just to give some, some other brands a bit of uh, recognition there. And what this is useful for is extreme fine stippling, you know, where you want to put down the finest, finest stipples that you couldn't do with flicking a brush. It's amazing what an airbrush can do on that. So the example that I like to use for that is um, if you're painting the stamen of an orchid, let's say, okay, which has got these tiny stipples that come out from the center of the flower, and they're very, very delicate. It looks like a, like a little fairy just kind of tiptoed out the center of the flower. It's a really beautiful aspect of the, of the petals on them. Um, to, to get a, a very fine airbrush with a finely prepared paint at very low pressure, you can precisely dictate where you're going to put these stipples, the frequency of them and the size of them by painting in that, in that way. It's, it's really kind of fun to explore, actually. Do any of the parts of the airbrush wear out over time or use and then need replacing? Yeah, I think... Um... It's, it's less than people think. I think that more airbrush parts get replaced through damage incurred while cleaning than ever get replaced through wear. Um, and so the comments that I'd like to make on that are, um, try to find ways of becoming more lazy with your cleaning, okay? I mean that. So many people are so keen to fully strip their airbrush down every time, put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, you know, set it buzzing in that thing for 30 minutes and then, you know, all that stuff. It's, it's so much less necessary than you think. Um, I generally don't advocate the use of ultrasonic cleaners unless you've let a load of paint dry in your airbrush, which you shouldn't do anyway. Um, a great way to clean is, you know, you just, every time you change color, just do a reasonable job of cleaning the airbrush by flushing and bubble back um, at that point. And then when you come to the end of the day to do your full clean, you shouldn't really need to strip it. The analogy that I like to use is, if you go back to thinking about a paintbrush, nobody spends ages and ages and ages cleaning, 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 and re-cleaning the handle on their paintbrush. Why? Because it's not a paint-bearing part. So everything from your cup back is not an area where paint has been with your airbrush. You don't need to strip that apart and go to the, the trouble of uh, cleaning it really, really thoroughly. Um, so clean the paint-bearing parts, clean them well. Um, things like seals and whatnot. Nowadays, most people are using acrylic paints, which are solvent free. Um, most airbrush manufacturers are using seals that are fully solvent resistant anyway, so they don't really tend to wear out. Uh, so the, the, the less you can strip, the less you're prone to damaging something by mistake, the less you're likely to have to replace parts for your airbrush. What I would say though, is if you damage a needle, look carefully at your nozzle, okay? If you damage a needle, it's likely that putting that needle into a nozzle, you might cause damage to the nozzle. So you generally tend to replace needles and nozzles as a set. Um, 
don't try to regrind a needle unless you're really desperate and you sort of absolutely have to finish something because typically you won't achieve the same uh, angles that the manufacturer can with their facilities and you won't get the same performance back. Um, so yeah, I think most airbrush parts don't wear out over time. They're more likely to be damaged. Um, the best way to avoid that happening is try to be as lazy as possible with your cleaning process whilst making sure that it's effective. Um, so the best way to do that is, like I say, clean it in between color changes so that you don't have a big job to do at the end of the session. Thanks very much, everybody. I hope that addressed a bunch of your uh, um, things that you need to know more about with the airbrush. And uh, please, if there's anything that we haven't addressed, put it in the comments. We'll come back to the series and, uh, and do some more Q&As later on. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, please subscribe and like. Helps us to make more stuff for you guys that we know you want to see. Thanks a lot.